preparado. Recordad que para hacer preguntas os podéis poner en los dos micrófonos. Pues yo creo que cogí. Hi. Hi. I'm here. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hi, my name is Amparo. I I know you've been to Africa lately, and that you met Alan Sabor in there. And I read somewhere that you are uh, co-directing a documentary with him. Could you tell us more about that project, please? Wow, I love that you know that. <laughs> um, I was just in Zimbabwe. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, two weeks ago, well, with a man, an amazing scientist named Alan Savory, who has literally figured out a way to reverse the process that the Earth is going through right now, which is desertification and turning into a desert. And he's figured out a way to slow climate, control, climate change, literally slow it down. And he's the most incredible man I've ever met, actually. He's my hero. And yes, I'm directing a movie, uh, co-directing the movie with uh, my co-director, this guy Jeff Schatz. We shot this film in Zimbabwe, and I'm telling you all right now that the, while we sit here and we have a blast and we're enjoying ourselves, there, we are in like the most critical uh, place, the most pivotal, critical place in mankind. We are, we are about to experience and we have the power to change it or we have the power to pretty much let the earth slip away from us and we lose everything. Not good, right? This man has figured out how to fix it and we are going to shoot this movie and bring it to the world. And the idea behind the movie um, so that it garners and gets national attention from universities worldwide and farmers and corporations is we want to make this movie so good and so the science can be so tested so that Alan Savory wins a Nobel Prize for his work in agriculture because in the history of the Nobel Prize, no one's ever won it for agriculture and it's kind of like the biggest thing in the world. Food, land, so awesome question. It was the most phenomenal experience uh, truly I've ever had. And we went to Africa to see devastation and we saw it. But I also saw something really positive, which was that if we just use holistic land management, it actually works and we can literally save our planet. So there's good news on the horizon, but you're just gonna have to work really hard. Thank you. Thank you. Yes? Right here? Hi. Nobody is sitting here. If you want, you can take me. Thank you for having me. So, my, um, I wanted to ask you if you want to come to Germany. You! Um, I cannot, I can't go to Germany because I was arrested there on felony charges for <laughs> uh, Of course I want to go to Germany. You I'm find right. time for me to go to Germany and you can bet your ass I will get on the plane. <laughs> I love that place. I was, um, I was supposed to go to Berlin not too long ago and it just, and it, and it didn't happen. But there's this amazing, uh, it's not a festival, it's some gigantic gathering. It's in August, I think it is, in Berlin. And we're going to, I'm gonna beg Warner Brothers, Peter Roth, who's the president of the studio. I am literally gonna have to beg him because it's gonna be this amazing um, youth event in Berlin this summer. I think in August or September, so. Fingers crossed. I will see you in Deutschland. We look forward to see you there. Thank you. So this isn't fair. There's all these beautiful ladies in this room. And I can't see you, but you can see me. See, this is a two-way street, people.
Iga May. Hi, I'm Sarah. Yes. Here. Okay. Here does not help me. <laughs> to the right, to the left, maybe 32 degrees, north, north, west. Sorry. Um, I'm Sarah from Italy, and <laughs> my question is: uh, Do you see yourself? No. <laughs> do you see yourself more in Boone or Damon? Oh, definitely in Damon. Poor Boone. <laughs> he was a sweet, sweet man. But he was not, um, Boone was not very on top of it. And uh, it, it, due to his untimely death, he never really got a sense, it's actually kind of sad, but he never really got a chance to sort of find out where his power was, get his power back feel like a, a whole individual. So, Damon, other than, let me preface this, other than being a maniacal killer, which I'm not, <laughs> I don't share that trait with Damon, but I do understand Damon a lot. Um, he's been through a lot, that guy. And he's, he loves to have a good time. I think we all love to have a good time. And uh, he knows what it's like to love, lose love, have love, want love, which we all do. And another thing about Damon is what we do as human beings, he uses humor as like a band-aid for pain. We, you know, humor is a medicine for pain. We've all experienced pain. And we use humor, we are, we are funny, as a result of trying to get rid of that. And Damon does it all. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Damon has so many great qualities, some of which I wish I had more of. But, when I step into those clothes and I walk on the set with the script and ready to work, Damon is definitely <laughs> a really fun guy to hang out with. Not so much lately. <laughs> He's been a bit of a, of a sore sport. A bit of a girl, I think. <laughs> but he's going to figure it out. I promise. Thank you. Hi, Ian. Are you over there? Yes. At your left. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm Martin from Luxembourg. And I want to know for you as an actor, what do you prefer working on a film where you know from the beginning to the end what's going to happen? Or if you prefer working on a show where it's a surprise and you never know what's going to uh -huh. be the next day? That's really a good question, actually. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Television is an amazing ride um, because you you have it changes so quickly and you know yes you might shoot a scene or you might the scene may change on the way to work and you don't really exactly know what it means anymore and, but and you go for this ride it's a journey doesn't always work out in your favor you don't always get the storyline you want but that's part of the journey guess what you don't always get the storyline you want in life Films are great. Uh, they're amazing to know exactly what's happening, to have a long time to work on the material and be able to take time. The difference is in film, you have a lot more time in television you just don't. They're both amazing medium, and I'm ridiculously fortunate to work in both of them. Actually, I haven't worked in film in a while um, and have not made very many good movies, but I'm starting now. I will. <laughs> what, what about Hollywood? Um, I unfortunately am not going to be able to do that because it's the, the schedule of the show. I mean, you know, it's, I always like to do things, uh, I, by the way, I would never complain about anything, but I like to sometimes take 
you know, my brother always thought that I, you know, had this very cushy lifestyle, and we, you know, show up to work, and we have people doing our, our nails and feeding us grapes. No. <laughs> we work our asses off. Uh, nine months a year, you know, 12 to 15 hours a day, five, six days a week. And uh, it's, yeah, sometimes, sometimes night shift. And it's the most incredible job in the world, but it is definitely a lot of work. So, you know, we shoot the show nine months a year, nine months straight. And then, uh, and now on my off season, I'm with you guys.